Almost a decade after the first announcement of a Last of Us adaptation at that time a movie and after seven projects that did not go forward, Sony is finally releasing an adaptation of the beloved horror game. The series will premiere on January 15 on HBO. Here's everything you need to know about the highly anticipated adaptation. In The Last of Us, tough guy survivor Joel Miller, which will be played by Pedro Pascal, is hired to escort a teenager named Ellie through the wasteland and to some doctors who believe that Ellie may be the cure to the plague. A glimmer of hope in a world that fell quickly and violently to zombies 20 years ago. Ellie will be played by Bella Ramsey. She is known for her roles as young noblewoman Lana Mormon in the Game of Thrones. As they make their way from what used to be Boston to what's left of Salt Lake City in a post-apocalyptic world, they run into roving groups of infected, a couple of cannibals, some huge jerks, and a giraffe which escaped from a zoo and is getting out while the getting is good. The show will mostly follow the plot of the first game, but the trailer suggests that they will also use elements from The Last of Us, left behind an Ellie-centric prequel set before the events of the first game. As the game is centered on the main characters to work as a series, the adaptation is also expected to expand upon the game's story, including, apparently, some elements that were previously cut from the game. However, The Last of Us still likely will take a lot of cues from the game as we could see frame-by-frame -frame recreation of the game in the trailers. You can't have a zombie apocalypse without zombies, and The Last of Us is no exception. But what exactly are the zombies in The Last of Us like? A key element is that the zombies aren't actually dead. Instead, they are living beings infected and mutated mindless drones that carry and spread the disease. The virus in the world of The Last of Us is based on one that exists in the real world. A fungal virus that infects bugs deep in the Amazon rainforest, growing parasitically in their brain and leaving them with strange fungal growths on their bodies. They lose autonomy over their body, essentially becoming what we could call zombies. In Last of Us, the virus takes on a day or two to fully take over the brain, but the longer the host body is infected, the more the virus transforms it, and so we see varied types of zombies populating the world of The Last of Us. The first stage is called Runners. After being infected by the virus, the body will enter the first phase which looks like the more traditional concept of zombies that we are more used to seeing on the screen. In this stage, the host personality has disappeared, and they are rendered into something akin to a rabid animal. Their eyes appear unnaturally glossy and bloodshot. They hold themselves in awkward ways that seem similarly animalistic. The following stage is called Stalkers. In this phase, the virus has infected the host for anywhere between two weeks and a year. As their name suggests, they usually hide and attack their prey instead of attacking directly. They tend to lure in dark and quiet places. As they tend to stay in the same place for a long time, the fungus can row from them into the surroundings, but they can tip themselves free and attack. Clickers are the third stage. This is the phase when we start to have a more distinct and more dangerous version. After one year of the infection, the virus spread throughout their body and the fungus grew so much that it emerges through their skull, which makes the host blind. To move and identify their prey, the clickers use a collocation using clicking noises. This makes them easy to locate, but still, they are dangerous on one-on-one -on -one fights. The most advanced phase is called bloaters. They only form after several years of infection, which makes them the least common of so-called zombies. As the name suggests, they are bloated from the extent of their infection. The fungus consume their bodies and swell to inhuman sizes. They are extremely strong and the fungus that took over its body provides a layer of protective armor. But the zombies are not the only dangers that we are going to see the characters facing throughout the series. There is always the danger of getting infected. The virus spread via spores that exist in places where infected corpses are left. A single breath of infected air could be enough. The world of The Last of Us is full of threats even more terrifying than the infected, but to avoid spoilers, I won't get into it. Welcome to the Entertainment World by Papa Buffy. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything that happens in the entertainment world.